Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, then do hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. और अगर आप हमारे वीडियोस हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमारे दूसरे चैनल इजी स्विंग ट्यूटोरियल्स पर देख सकते हैं चैनल का लिंक डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में है नाउ विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट इनटू द वीडियो फर्स्टली फोल्ड द फैब्रिक बाय हाफ इन लेंथ कीप द ऑन फोल्ड साइड टुवर्ड्स योरसेल्फ दिस कॉर्नर विल बी द बॉटम साइड नाउ फोल्ड द फैब्रिक लाइक दिस Hold the opposite corner and overlap it like this to give cone shape. I'm not giving pointed shape on the bottom side. Just keep the distance of around two inch to three inch. It's your choice. I'm keeping it two inch. Now from the bottom side, I'll mark a point at three inch. I'm not going to cut it. I'll just leave it like this, and I'll take length from this line. Now, from this point, I'll mark length of salwar, which is 36 inch in my measurement. I'll deduct one inch, as I'll be adding one inch of belt. So I'll mark a point at 35 inch. Now measure the same length from the bottom corner. This is 38 inch. Now keep the measuring tape on the bottom corner and mark the same measurement 38 inch from one side to another like this. Now I'll just cut out the length. Make sure all sides are covered in the length. Now on the unfold side, I'll mark the crotch. Crotch width is two inch, and crotch length is thirteen inch. I'll deduct one inch, as I'll be adding one inch of belt. So I'll mark a point at twelve inch. Now I'll draw crotch curve. and i'll cut it so i've cut it now i'll separate the inner folded side as well just marking cross on the wrong side so i've separated and folded both sides and this is how it will look and with this cutting is complete now i'll stitch it i'll cut the belt later firstly i'll finish this side and also i'll be attaching this golden lace on the salwar it will cover whole length of overlapped top layer and on the inner side from the bottom i'll mark a point at 13 inch I'll just attach lace till this point. No need to take it to the top. Just double fold the fabric and make a stitch on the inner side. So I finished one side. Now I'll finish the other one till the marking point. Now I'll attach the lace. You can use any kind of lace, or you can also use bias binding, piping, whatever you want.
so i have attached lace on both sides now join both pieces right sides together and make a stitch on the crotch so i made a stitch now i'll overlock it so i made a stitch on the crotch now i'll just make a stitch on the overlap part this is just to keep it in place i have pinned it up now i'll make a stitch so i made a stitch on the overlap part now mark the guideline with the chalk along the lace from the bottom i'll mark a point at 9.5 inch this part will remain open you can make it 10 or 8 whatever you like join lace with the guideline and make a stitch on the upper part So I made a stitch. Now similarly, I'll stitch the other side. So I made a stitch on both sides. Now I'll attach belt. Belt length is forty-four inch. This is on fold, and width is three point five inch. I have cut in two pieces, so I will need to make joints on both sides. Also, make small tucks on the sides of salwar to separate front and back part. Firstly, I'll add gathers on the salwar, and then I'll attach it with the belt. It's your choice. If you want to make pleats, you can make pleats. I'll just leave this place and I'll start making gathers after this lace. So I've attached gathers and this is how it looks. Similarly, I'll add gathers on all other three sides. So I've added gathers on all sides and adjusted it according to the belt. Now I'll attach belt with the salwar, and also I have folded and ironed one side of the belt. Place right side of belt on the wrong side of the salwar. Match the center. and make a stitch So I've attached the belt. Now fold the belt towards the right side. I've already ironed the seam allowance on the other side. So I'll just fold it like this, and I'll make a top stitch. I'll leave around one inch of space to insert the elastic.
and twist leave one inch of space to insert the elastic. So I've added elastic and I have taken elastic one inch less than the waist round measurement. In my measurement waist round is 28 inch. This is 27 inch. Now I'll just overlap it and make a stitch to secure it. Now I'll make few stitches on the belt. It will let elastic in the place and distribute gathers equally. So my tulip salwar is ready and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you find this video useful and if you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more such videos and I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.